Hello, hello, good evening, my dear brothers and sisters around the globe. Welcome, welcome to our beautiful show. Today, you know, we are proclaiming the good news. You, everybody needs that, you know. Enough of all the bad news going around the world. It's time for good news, and we are here uh, to proclaim that. And I'm, I am so glad you invited us to your beautiful homes and church hospitals, wherever you are listening to me, and my dear ones, we love you guys. We really love you guys. Thank you for tuning into our program, Trinity, Timidity, or Temerity. Trinity, Timidity, or Temerity. Timidity and Temerity doesn't go. We, are, we have to be bold as Christian believers, as a followers of Christ. Man, we need to be bold as a lion. So that's the word temerity means. So before I start, you know that we really ask the great king to show up because he promised two or three when we come together, huddle together in his beautiful name, he said, I'll be in their midst. So I let my uh, beautiful sister, uh, Abina, to pray as she really needs to really pray so that, you know, we we'll all feel the function, the scintillating power of the Most High God. Thank you, Jesus. Abina, Thank you. please. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come into thy presence, my Lord Jesus, in the awesome name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. One day in your court, thousand yes, elsewhere, yes, Master. Father, yes. One day in your presence, thousand elsewhere, my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You're an awesome God. Yes. We love you with all our heart, mind, and soul. Without you, we can do nothing in this world, Father. Hallelujah. Every second of our life belongs to you alone, Master. Yes. Life is so precious, God. Yes. We don't know what is your next minute. It's only Hallelujah. with you, my Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Yes. All the glory and honor and praise goes to you alone, my Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes. You cannot Father. live by bread alone, my brothers Hallelujah. and sisters. Right. Every yes. word that comes from the mouth of God. Yes. And bless all those people watching me right now, wherever they're watching, my Lord Jesus. Reach and touch them. Hallelujah. Let your blessing be upon all those who's watching me. Master. Yes, today, Father, Father, touch them. Let your blessing be upon all those families, Master. The mother is crying for the children. We pray oh, for them. Yes. People are praying for all kinds of sickness. We pray for everyone at this moment, Master. Yes. Bring them all to you. Whoever comes to you, never let them go empty, my Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. yes, Father. Bless them, Father. Bless everyone, my Lord Jesus. Whoever asks us to pray, every petition, every prayer request that comes to us, we bring them to the throne room, Master. Hallelujah. Answer every man, everyone, my Lord Jesus. Yes. You alone can answer them. Hallelujah. You alone can wipe their tears, Master. Yes. Pray for all the people, Father, who is going through sickness. One more time, I pray for them, Father. They ask us to pray every cancer, Father, every depression, for yes. every problem they're going the through right now. Jesus in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke Hallelujah. everything, Thank Father. You. Eternal God, bless you. everyone. Infuse your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And yes. diffuse every evil Hallelujah. upon this world, Master. Thank you once again for this day, Father. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your presence here, my Lord Jesus. Father, I pray for all the persecuted Christians around the world who are persecuted because they are Christians, my Lord Jesus. Send your myriads and myriads of angels yes. to stop what Welcome is going, back, Father. Yes. And bless those families who are crying right now, my Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Bless our network, our CEO and all our staff, every one of them. Every program. Every program as yes. we pray for all of them, Master. Thank you, God, once again, Papa, Father. I pray for my brother as he's going to speak your word, Master. Father, speak through him. Let everyone hear a word and ponder your word in the heart and the yes. mind and soul, Father. Fill them, Father. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your compassion and love, Father. And I Thank ask you. all this in the wonderful name of our Lord and Hallelujah. Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yeah, man. Amen. That was a great Thank prayer. You, Thank you. Thank you and I know it touched my heart. How about you guys? So my dear brothers and sisters, is it time, this convivial time that we have together, is a time that you will encounter with this great mighty God. You know, the, the same God who walked 2,000 years ago is still walking in our life. 
we need to walk in our life, you know. Otherwise, you know, we fight in our big battle, epic battle that's going on all around us. And we think, you know, we can just get out of this rut without. And, you know, we think our human ingenuity, we think with our education, we think about all about ourselves, and we think we could be able to fight this battle. This is a battle, epic proportion, only only the Lord Almighty, a mighty Savior, as Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17 says, a mighty Savior will be given to fight for you and me. Yeah. And how privileged you are and how privileged I am today. We know the Redeemer. His name is too wonderful. His name is too wonderful. His name is glorious. His name is Prince of Peace. His name is Mighty, Mighty God, a good, great counselor. That's what Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 says about it. So those who dwell in the darkness, those who dwell in the darkness, Isaiah starts like this in chapter 9, those who are in mourning and those who are seeing the darkness, they will see the light, the glorious light. And Jesus said, here I am. I am the light of the world. John chapter 8, you know, verse 12. I am the light. They asked Buddha, are you the light? He said, I am not the light. They asked Krishna, are you the light? They said, no, you're not. You know, I am not. I am dark. I am Krishna Varna. I'm black. He said, so when they asked Jesus Christ, are you the light? He said, I am that light. I am the light that comes to dispel the darkness. So how great you and I are. If you are followers of Christ, relax. It's all done. It's all over. The battle is over. And he fought for you. And he got the victory, my dear brothers and sisters. At the end of the Bible, it says, you and I are the winners. Don't be whining about anything. Today, when you hear my word, don't harden your heart. So, you know, let me go to the last segment. Please, do you remember the last segment? Do you guys recall? You know, I started with Ezekiah King, a great king. He started with great, and, you know, his end was not that very good. So his son, you know, his son was, what's his son, son's name? Come, anybody? Come on, guys, come on, help me. Manessa, Manessa, oh my gosh. He is the most wicked and notorious Man, wicked king in the entire Israel, you know, in Jerusalem, you know, that's the place God put his name. Its name is too wonderful, right? But unfortunately, the guy was ruling as a king, he failed miserably. We know last time you heard, he was the most, he brought all the abomination in the world. I mean, he maybe he was American. I don't know. I don't know about that. But I'm telling you, dear brothers and sisters, you know, if you really see his uh, story, your jaws will be somewhere else. You know, uh, that speaks in Second Chronicle chapter 33. Now, what, what really happened to him, you know, because he followed the strange God, he built out the shrines and he lived a very wicked life. And he let the people live a debaucherous lifestyle and he even killed his own son to the Malek God. So any of you know, you heard about all these things, augury, witchcraft, man, horse, horoscope, and you know, boy, this is all here. You're working with the Brahma, yoga, man, you know, Kundalini, come on, give a break. There is a true living God. He's waiting to take care of your life. He's there to alleviate your burden. And he said, come to me, all those who are heavily burdened. And he's here, he's here, he's in your life. Why are you meandering? Why are you looking for the wrong places? In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, it challenges. Come bring your burden. Bring your sickness. Bring your addiction. Bring, bring everything that you have. And I give what I have. My yoke is easy. My yoke is very easy. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are such a blessed generation because Christ said that to you and me. Blessed are you when you hear my voice. Blessed are you if your eyes see me. And yet, you know, if you don't believe, you know, it's your problem. So I was in a, in a country, India, you know, can you imagine, you know, my father was raised as a Hindu man, very orthodox Hindu man. 
and he know my mother's faith my whole family here gloating and we are basking in the light we're sharing this wonderful good news to all of you guys there's nothing impossible he's a living god he's a living god now today you know we're going to really ask Sheila to read about uh, you know second chronicles if you could go second chronicles chapter 33 verse 11 and 12 let's find out i mean you know god is a god of many chances you know we know how wicked this guy was but yet you see what the lord is saying he's talking to you he's talking to your family he's talking to your friends please call your buddies call your friends call the people around tell them to listen to this this is a time this is a golden opportunity for you you may not get it tomorrow because today is the day of salvation that's what the scripture says we nobody was promised tomorrow so my dear brothers and sisters let my sister sheila read that please listen to that god is compassionate and he want to talk to you the lord spoke to manasseh and his people yes but they paid no attention uh -huh. so the lord brought against them the army of commanders of the king of Assyria, mm -hmm. who took Manasseh prisoner, put a hook in his nose, bound him with bronze shackles, and took him to Babylon. In his distress, he sought the favor of the Lord, his God, and okay. humbled. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. Okay, let me tell you. You know what? You heard it. A year is a Syrian army coming with the bronze, bronze shackles and the fetters. And they put a hook on his nose. Oh my God. What kind of humility is this? A believer, a king who believe in the true God. If he don't represent the king of kings, boy, everybody has to pay a price. So it is very unfortunate to see this, this has to happen. A pagan country, a guy invades. And you know, his father saw the glory of God, Hezekiah, and God slew 185,000 through one angel. But this guy never believed. Nothing is inscribed. He never tried anything. And he didn't prescribe anything, my dear brothers and sisters. Everything is a back burner. We all do that. Everything, what does ancestors put us? This country was found on the great principle, Jediah, Christian values. Everything is in haywire. Everything is in shambles. Hello, American people around the world. Please wake up and smell the light. Smell Jesus. <laughs> you know, I want you to smell Jesus, not the coffee. Enough of coffee, too much coffee. So it's caffeine. Okay? My dear brothers and sisters, you know, I love you guys. But God always want to talk to you to put an end to your misery. You will talk to his prophet, even today, you know, through his word. You know, when I proclaim this word, this word is for you and for me, okay? God is a God of many chances. It's coming to you. Why not? Why not we repent of all our evil? Why does all this garbage in? Garbage needs to go out. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the temple of the most holy God. This is the temple that dwells here. You believed, you were born again 10 years ago. You're living for yourself. You're living voluptuously you for your flesh. We need to stop. We need to walk with him every day. He not walk with God, what happened? He never seen death. And you know, if you walk with him, my dear brothers and sisters, I'll challenge you. You walk with the light. Jesus said, I am the life. And if you walk to this way, and you will never go hunky dory. You will find the way that leads to life. He challenges you. John chapter 14, verse 6, you all know. He is the ultimate truth. He is the embodiment of the truth. Why? Why not? Why not give a shot? And he says, just turn around. Just listen to me. Listen to me. I will do great things for you. But put everything behind and just follow me. You don't have to carry all your baggages. And you don't have to carry all the trailers behind you. Come on, empty as you are. Come. Come on, my brothers and sisters. Look at what happened to this uh, guy, this King Manasseh. Man, you know, a horrible guy. And you know, he has to be punished. He was taken to Syria as a captive. And you know where, you know, it says like he cried 
from that lad, I heard that, you know, he has to go through, he tried every God, everyone that she worshipped, and nobody heard him. And finally, he has to go back to his ancestors, God, the true living God. And God heard him. He heard him. And he delivered him. He came back, a repentant guy. Where? From Syria. He don't know how to go. But anyhow, God brought him again. It says like, you know, 11, 12, I think, right? 13. Uh, and it's awesome. It was such a transformation. And, you know, my story, it doesn't end with this guy. But, you know, he was saved and the people was not. That's what I, we hear that. You know, if you keep reading from 13 to 23, Second Chronicle chapter 33, jot down, jot down, please. Second Chronicle chapter 33, verses, you know, now 13, to go all the way, 23. And you can really see, he was repented. He transformed. He destroyed the altars and destroyed all those foreign gods, but not the people. He couldn't change the people. What happened? He died. He passed away. We all know that. The wages of sin is death. But you know, his son was most wicked. <laughs> Can you read that? What word, Sheila? Uh, his son named Amen. Okay? Oh my gosh. Just say now. He is most wicked. What legacy we, we give to the children, my dear parents? What legacy? I told you, look at the legacy that my parents gave to me. They are smiling from heaven. They did their, they ran the race. So it's time for us to give this legacy to the next generation, to your children, to your children's children. This is a message for every parent and grandparents. Look at this whole generation. Grandfather was the most wicked man. Second Chronicle chapter 28, King Ahaz and his son, he was like any other Christian. He was a lukewarm guy, cafeteria Christian. Okay, he, whenever he's a 9-11 Christian, whenever you need, you'll run to God. And then afterwards, man, you'll run after so many things. Then the next thing is son Manasseh, the most wicked, the whole generation. And the generation curses go in after one generation to another generation. Can you read that, Sheila? Second Chronicle chapter 30. Three, and you know, uh, that one particular word, 21, I think it's uh, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, please read it, please. And Amen, his son, succeeded him as a king. Yes. Amen was 22 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem two years. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord, mm. as his father Manasseh wow. has done. Amen worshipped and offered sacrifices all the idols Manasseh had made. But <laughs> unlike his father Manasseh, he did not humble himself he before the Lord. He did not humble himself, his son now. Look at this. His son, Manasseh's son. Amen. Amen. No, we can't say amen to this amen. guy. You know, man, unfortunately, he never repented and he died. And the whole nation, the whole nation of floundering, every one of them are living for themselves, for their flesh. My dear brothers and sisters, that's not why God calls you. That's not why you are here and I'm here. Oh, my dear brothers and sisters, God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son, whoever, whoever, whoever believes in him, whoever trusts in him, whoever lives according to his edicts, you will be saved. John 3, 16, everybody knows. Every Christian, you ought to know, my dear brothers and sisters. Every basic, every foundation hinges on this confession. So my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord's works of Christ, the King of the Sovereign God, he said, behold, I'm with you to the end of this you will never have scratchulate from you. You know what that means? You will not run off. Everybody will run away from you. Your husband, your children, your father, your mother, your buddies, your friends. Man, you can't find them. But you know, my brothers and sisters, you know, you will really look for him. And he says, here I am. Here I am in your life. So my dear brothers and sisters, what an awesome God that we serve. 
He's not a, a dilly dally king. He's a true sovereign king. He's a king of king and the Lord of lords. And I know, you know, his family, his holy family, look at what their legacy meant. Their leg, what kind of legacy they gave. We know that he's a son of the most high God. But somebody has to play the role of the parents. And these parents have done a great job, my dear brothers and sisters. The mother of our Savior. And is her, uh, Jesus' foster father, Joseph, Saint Joseph. What a holy family. What kind of legacy they left for you and me. Wow. I told you that 12 years Manasseh, where was his mother and father? We know the story. But you know, it all depends on what you inculcate. You sow the wild words, you reap it. That's what Manasseh did, you know, because his father never showed a good example of Zechariah. He, got a, he wanted all the stuff. He wanted all the goodies from the Lord. He wanted all the freebies from the Lord. But, you know, he never really, he never really pleased the holy God of Israel. So, my dear brothers and sisters, turn around now. See, now there was another guy who was persecuting Christians around the globe, just like ISIS. So this guy was persecuting all over, you know. He was really a murderer. And you know what? And he meets with this great king, the king of kings. He says, Saul, Saul, whom are you persecuting? Why are you persecuting? This is the question he heard from the sky. That's it. That's the end of his story. He, he knocked down and he became blindfolded. And the next thing, he becomes St. Paul. You know what he said? Can Sheila read that 2 Timothy 4? After his conversion, after following this true king, with all his legacy, his children, when Jesus Christ, the king of kings, we're all the prince. I believe that. You know, I believe we're all his sons. We, have, we carry the legacy. So look at the one who followed him. And he gave two-thirds of the scriptures for you and me. The son, the loyal son of Jesus, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Look at what the legacy he left about this man. Look how, what he's saying. Second Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. Can you please, Sheila? I have fought the good fight. <laughs> yes. I have finished the race. Yes. I have kept the faith. Hallelujah. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. the Lord, the righteous judge, will award Thank me you, on that day. And not only me, but also to all who have longed for this appearing. Hallelujah. You know what? We're all waiting for this great king. He's going to show up, and he's still the sovereign king, and king of kings and the Lord of lords. And you know, you don't compare it with other kings. Which king do you follow? Which president you follow? Which Hollywood stars you follow? Which athletes you follow? Which Bollywood stars you follow? That's where I come from. So my dear brothers and sisters, who do you hear? Who do you listen? Who do you go after? Is there a time? Is there a time for you and me to relax and change our mind change our heart and repent during this days of Lent and season. So, my dear brothers and sisters, so God bless you. And, you know, I let Sheila talk to you. We'll continue this. We'll continue this conversation next week. God bless you all. Yes, Sheila. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for watching our program. Continue sending your prayer requests and praise support. Also, please stand by us, partner with us, Send in any love offering or donations to take the ministry, to take the gospel to the whole world. And um, you heard the message, please take it to heart and put it in practice. And also, uh, God bless you all and see you next week. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. God bless yes. everybody. Yes, see you. Bye-bye.